going. It's going. Hey, good morning and welcome back to the channel. We are going to clear some land today. We're going to be using the TYM P474. We're going to be using the Bombalite MP348, chainsaw, chaps, possibly even the stump grinder if we get enough time today. And we're going to take down some big tulip poplars and some other stuff for the sawmill. Let me bring you back to a conversation me and Tanya had earlier today. Gizmo, what'd you find, buddy? Got some, got some moles in here, huh? So, you want to save these little trees? Yes, I want to save these little trees right there for the coverage, for the uh, to cover a no fly through zone. <laughs> Keep it, you know, as much. So they don't know. They don't know what you're trees. talking about, but because this is going to be the chicken area. Yes, all of this right here is going to be my chicken so area. So you're trying to keep a few trees in here so the hawks can't yes, swoop down. Yes, I want to try to break up the straight line going down, dodging for my chickens. Yes. So I hate to do it, but we've got this big poplar here, which is, it might be okay to leave this here, but that other big poplar is sitting right beside that oak and we want that oak to stay. And I think, so we go ahead and take these two, these two tulip poplars down. They will make some of the beams that we need for the yeah. greenhouse. And, uh, and also gonna, oak. it's gonna give the oak time. Yes. It's, it's gonna give it an opportunity to grow. There's a whole bunch of buzzards up there flying. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, go away, shoot. So but we'll yeah. So all this is going to get cleared up. Yes, all this got to be cleaned up because how much poison ivy did you put up here? Oh, I don't know. All, all of the poison ivy from the sawmill was brought over and throw through right here. But we, it's been out there for a year, so we'll yeah, we'll just mulch it all up and yeah. it'll be fine. You just stay away from it. Yeah. I'm not allergic to it. She's a little bit allergic to it. Let's not try to try to not, not push her luck, right? Yeah, not try to push my luck. So I think I'll come in here with the chainsaw and chop this piece up right here so it's a little yes. easier to get out. That way I don't damage it trying to well, get it Well, that one got to go right there. It's leaning over, so. Sure, we'll sure. But yeah, I want to keep those trees right here for sure. I'll chop this up as best I can with a chainsaw so we can get it out and we'll try to keep these two trees. I mean, if they don't, if we if something happens, it'd be okay. We can always plant another one here. Yeah. I'll dig it up with a backhoe somewhere else and bring it over here. But May end up doing that anyway. Well, the girl's gonna love this area, so. And my boy. All right, let me get my chainsaw chaps on. And All right, chop, chop, let's go. Have y'all seen this stuff right here? What is it? It's called mud. I've oh. heard about it. <laughs> not, not this year, I haven't. I hadn't, heard, I hadn't heard about mud very much this year, but that's like legitimate mud. Guys, it has been dry here this year, so it's the first time that I've seen mud in probably three months. It's been terribly dry. All right, we're gonna take the big Neotech chainsaw here and get in here and see what we can clean out yeah get rid of those briars babe yeah that that uh mulcher is gonna be nice i'm just gonna back into all that and we'll probably take the tractor and push all this off level here and then yeah that'll be a little bit extra work but it'll be worth it you love me don't you i do love you that's why you create my chicken area <laughs> I got enough of this stuff cut down that I can get the big pieces out and then get the mulcher in here and mulch all the rest of it up. Once we get it all cleaned up, um, I'll take the mulcher and come in here and clean around these trees so it's a little safer to run the chainsaw. Because there's a lot of, we've kind of pushed a lot of stuff up over the years around these. So Gizmo, do you like the chainsaw? No? Gizmo, so he don't like the chainsaw. He don't like the chainsaw. I'm gonna take all this stuff over here and put it in the burn pile. Okay. So, since it's so close. Okay.
No water here anyway. But the water's going down. Sure start, all the water starts right there. I know, but just make sure it's not too flat. Go down, go around. Yeah, you're right. Hey, so we are, we just took us a little break, but I just wanted to, you guys that are following our channel, you know that we've tried to use this uh, forestry mulcher in the in that drought that we've had over the last two months. And it is absolutely so much fun today compared. Uh, there's no dust today and you can actually see what's going on. Uh, and I'm actually able to operate the forestry mulcher better because I can see where I'm going. And if you looked at some of the previous videos, man, it is just fog and dust. And you can't, I couldn't, Tanya couldn't see me with the camera. So I, and I couldn't see what I was mulching up. So this is so much better and so much more fun. First off, this is just amazing what that thing did. This was all just a big giant mess. And within, I don't know, two hours, uh, we've cleared all of this off and just made it uh, usable. It's pretty, pretty amazing. So we take this tulip poplar here. We're gonna take it down first. Just kind of just lay it down through here. This tulip poplar will go down through there. And then once we get this cleaned up out of the way, 
this big giant tulip poplar, which I, I hate to cut down. It's a really good, healthy tree, but we really want that oak behind it to, to, to be the dominant tree. So we're gonna give the oak a, a head start. So I changed my mind. This tree's already got a natural lean to, towards my burn pile. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it across the burn pile. And then uh, when I top it, the top will already be at the burn pile. Maybe I can get lucky and do that on a couple of them. That one's about perfectly balanced. It is not wanting to fall over. That dude's not giving up. Well, I couldn't have done that if I tried again. It's literally leaning that way. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to cut my, my wedge. My strap's too strong. Well, it fell exactly where I wanted to fall, but man, if you'd told me that was gonna be that hard. Tulip poplar snap, easy. I don't know why. Whew, I'm out of breath just from that. So next time I'll cut my back cut a little bit deeper. So what I was afraid of, if I, I was afraid I was gonna cut my back cut and, and the tree was going to sit back on the on the saw and then i'd be in a predicament so i could i kept moving the saw feeling if it was if it was still make sure it wasn't binding and but i was still a little bit worried about that i felt like i was far enough in that i could snap it off but dang that didn't work out at all it might yield us one 
If this was not good for nothing, why did you cut my tree down? Because I don't want it here. But I wanted it. Yeah, but I, I had the chainsaw, so I was in charge. Well, still, I want to keep the tree for you. It's going to be a good tree. Again, I had the chainsaw. I was in charge. Uh, what did you say, babe? I said, I'm not sure this is going to yield. It'll probably yield one six by six. And the rest of it's not any good. And then you said. I said what? You said, don't cut, I, I didn't. Oh yeah, I didn't, I mean, if I know that it was no good, good for nothing, I was just gonna leave it, but you gung-ho on cutting all my trees down. Listen, I told her, I told my wife, I said, I had the chainsaw, so I was in charge. Yeah. I know, well you sleep. Yeah, <laughs> Lord of mercy. They gonna, they gonna know how we really act with each other. No secrets. What you huh? see is who we are. So no secrets. What you see is who yeah, we are. Yeah, it's, it's who we are. She wants to keep all these trees. This this thing was, you can see it was boogered up pretty bad at the top. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. The one I really hate to cut is that big tulip pot, the big one. Well, let's just leave it then. Well, I know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to smother out that oak, and I want the oak to thrive. Well, we cut the oak down. Leave the other one. No, because the tulip poplars will snap. Like if there's a real strong wind, they they have a tendency to snap. Well, you have to snap and a, yet. An oak tree, they have a tendency to last like forever. Yeah, but it hadn't snapped yet. Huh? It hadn't snapped yet. Well, it's the first time that it's been open to by itself like this. I think it will be fine. When they do it, when they're in the woods together, they the, the they slow the wind down together. They give each other support. I get it. When you have this big one by itself, also we're gonna come back here and find that land across our sawmill. That would be okay with me. It'll be okay with you. As long as I don't have my chicken area. Yeah. Come by and find them laying across your chicken. Nah. This one off ready for the stump grinder. Don't snarl at me. <laughs> that thing blowing at you. <laughs> I don't know why he don't want to move. He would have sit there and snarl at it. He was like, it was like I got him too doing it too. Huh? I got him doing it too many times. <sighs> well, yeah. buddy, you could move. <laughs> There's an eye. He could just move out of the way. I tried to coach him over here, but he wouldn't come. He's funny about that. He wants to be close to where it's happening. Gizmo, Gizmo. Hey, you need to stay with Mama. Stay out Daddy's way. Hello, I'm talking to you. Look here. Look here. Crazy dog. Are you gonna get Daddy? He's afraid he's gonna get left. I think he's ready to go home. I know it. <laughs>
All right, so the last tree was smaller in diameter and I was very conservative on my face cut. Um, probably should have been a little bit more aggressive on it. The tree was really straight up and down, so it didn't have a really a natural tendency lean. And it just hung out there and kind of got me in a, pre a predicament. The little tree that could. The little tree that could, it, right? Left it alone. And now this one here is a little bit bigger. I hope that it'll fall a little bit easier. I'll make a little bit more effort to read the tree. Okay. Sometimes I get lazy on the small trees because I just don't think about them as much. Get the big trees and I'll study those pretty hard. I think probably I'll end up hurting myself. If I, if I get hurt, it's probably gonna be in a small tree because I'm not paying attention. I think it'll be easy. Just be careful. Be careful. And I try to keep getting small over here. I'm gonna lay it the same way. Hopefully it'll call right across that uh, burn pile and we'll just leave the top of the tree in the burn pile. Well, that's two that don't want to fall. It's going. It's going. paint have you thought about to, what have you thought about maybe today it's just not your day to cut trees down absolutely it's my day nothing's went wrong i ain't hurt got hurt no, trees won't go down want to go down you pinch it went down all the time. yeah with some of well that was a really kind of an odd one the way it's laying it's kind of going across the road with the ditch in the middle of it and it's not laying, laying very well. I'm not really worried about it. It's just part of it. Are those wife proof too? Wife approved hearing protection. Absolutely, I can put this on and life is bliss. <laughs> If we go right here, that's roughly a 16 foot, a little over 16 foot, or 16 feet for my proper English speaking people. I guess I'll go ahead and knock that stump out over here. Okay. Get it what? out of the way. I can't hear you. I got husband earplugs on. Huh? It works good, don't it?
husband's turn. Wife's hearing's turned back on. <laughs> or husband's hearing, I guess, is turned back on. I had earplugs in my ears for a husband. Is that what you did? All right, so I got this, uh, the big Neo Tech out for this one. I don't need the big one, I could've done it with the other one, but I hadn't run this saw in, a, in about two months, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank this dude up and see if I can, or see if I can get it cranked up first off. That was ugly, and that saw is too big for me. <laughs> Whew, not the man I once was. He is not happy. You don't like it, do you, huh? Everything all right, buddy? Everything's all right. Those bugs are horrible. Whatever little black bugs around here. Just like so that's what you get for being sweet. I guess. That's a one straight log. That is a big old tree. I need to go get some gas for this thing. I Probably gonna be running out here in a minute. That's the only reason I use that big saw. That big saw, I probably need to go down to a, like a 24 inch bar. That thing's just too heavy for me. Need more muscle. Well, I do need more muscle. Back in the day, I could handle it. Yeah, that's just like saying once upon a time. Once upon a time. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna wrap this up. We got this log laid up. Tomorrow we're gonna throw these on the sawmill. Gizmo tired, he ready to go to the house. He done. Had all he wants. He don't like trees falling. Listen, appreciate it. If you subscribe to our channel, God bless, have a great day. You ready to go home, buddy? I'm done. We done put in too many hours. Time for some chicken trees. God bless. <laughs>